Welcome back. This video is about the select component interaction component of the advanced framework core 4.0 and 4.1, which is probably the most used of all select components. The select component component obtains its versatility by directly working with the state components of the advanced framework, meaning it can toggle practically every state component always using the same setup that I am going to explain here. To recap, with the advanced framework core come three select components. The comp select, which serves as parent component and implements custom interaction. The comp select co selection menu to consolidate several interactions into a menu. And the comp select comp, which transmits the select signal to a state component of your choice and is the topic of this video. So for this video, I am going to show you how to set up the select component so it finds the state component of your choice on the actor of your choice. And to spice things up, I am going to work with the finger select source and the drag component. As actors, I am going to use a mo modified copies of the BP trigger button toggle here on my left and the BP trigger example on my right. The originals come in the examples folder of the advanced framework core and I modified the code only slightly. To get an idea of the principle, let's set up a very simple example first and then a more complex one including the drag component and the finger input source. Now we are on the BP trigger button toggle. First, we add the comp select comp to the actor. A part of the settings here you already know from this selection component video. Namely, the select enabled boolean, identifier, component tag to select and select sources array down here. The new addition that comes with the comp select comp is the component de definition up here. It's a struct that enables each component to find any other component on any other actor in the level. And to set it up, we best go to the instance. The first array called component tag to search for specifies the state component or components the comp select comp is supposed to trigger. Again, we use a tag system, meaning the select component triggers all components whose tags match the tags entered here. For now, let's assume we want to trigger the trigger component of the bomb over here. So let's add the tag bomb trigger here and also as component tag on the trigger component of the bomb. Next, the select component only needs to know on which actor to search for the, comp uh, for the component or components with the given tag. And this is why we work on instances right now. You will look for this actors to trigger array in vain on the actor class blueprint. It's only accessible on instances and can only be filled with instances of actors in the map you are currently working in. Let's add the bomb actor. You can try to find the actor in the drop down menu here or just use the pivot tool and click on the actor you want in the viewport. For now, we can ignore the inherited settings on the select component and just go for trying what we created. As you might remember, we have the laser as select source, so I use laser controllers for this test. I just select the button and as you can see, the countdown starts on the bump over there. and it explodes. By the way, if you're interested in the code on that actor, have a look at the video in the description. We basically have all we want now. We can select this button and toggle the trigger component on the bump. But especially in VR, it would be much nicer to emulate really pressing the button. This is where the finger select source and the drag component come in. The finger select source is encapsulated in a motion component, as is the laser select source, by the way. If you go to the hands motion controller, you can find it right here. As you can see, it's positioned at the tip of the index finger and also has a direction. If the index finger is outstretched, meaning you are pressing the grip button and touching the face buttons of your real life controller, and the movement of the motion controller is aligned with the forward direction of the finger motion component, the finger selects any selectable element, usually a mesh or widget button it touches. You can probably the see that this is a very complex piece of work and probably needs a bit of tweaking to function really well. So please be patient when you decide to use the finger motion component because it's a very intricate input method. Now that we entered the new select source, the drag component comes into play. 
It serves as an intermediate between the select component and the trigger component from our first example and coordinates the movement of the mesh, button mesh emulating the button press. Consequently, now we have to exchange the component tag to search for in the select component setting to the tag of the drag component. Moreover, now the component we are toggling upon select is on the same actor as the select component. And for that we have the handy trigger also self boolean here. If it is set to true, the component automatically searches for the specified tag on the other components of the actor. The drag component on this actor is already set up as you can see. For, the de for a detailed explanation on the component, please go to the video in the description. Here we'll just go over the most important parts so you understand what's happening. First, we have the component tag to control. As in the select component, this refers to the mesh that the drag component is supposed to affect. So here we also add the tag of the button mesh. Under drag type, we have a huge map which determines how the tagged mesh moves in relation to the rest of the actor. As you can see right now, the button mesh moves linear parallel to its set axis, resets to its start position, which is at zero, and has a section set with two entries at set equals zero and set equals minus three. And let's not forget about the component definition on the drag component here. This tells the drag component which component it should toggle. Again, we better go to the instance to set it up, so we have the full picture. Since the select component now toggles the drag component, it's the job of the drag component to toggle the trigger component to start the countdown. So here we enter the tag of the trigger component on the uh, actor over here. And under actors to trigger, we enter the bomb actor. Let's try our new creation. As you can see, only the button mesh reacts to the finger select source and upon using the button it moves and the countdown is started. Now you should be able to set up all kinds of select interactions and hopefully have an idea of how much versatility we gain by the division into interaction and state components. The next big topic to tackle are the latch components. See you there, bye bye!